Well, we've had a show full of delicious food, but if you want a recipe, you want to cook tonight, or even as we head into the weekend, we'll look no further than Colleen's bacon wrapped dates. Yum! I have been so busy making cheese boards and charcuterie boards that I have totally forgotten about all those appetizers I made before boards became a thing. So today I'm traveling back in time to an appetizer that I made years ago. And I just thought about it the other day because of how uh, delicious and simple this is to make. We're gonna make bacon wrapped dates and three ingredients, guys. That's it going into this. Uh, and then you can put them on that charcuterie board. You can serve them alone too. My kids love it too, so it's definitely a win. All we're starting with are some pitted dates, then some aged Gouda and bacon. How easy is that, right? So we're gonna take that date and then we're gonna get a little chunk of Gouda and it's a little pocket. The date's a little pocket. Then we're gonna take the bacon, wrap it around. Now you can just put this right on the tray with the folded side down or you can get a fun little toothpick too and get that through. How fun is that? What a fun bite that's going to be. What I love about bacon wrapped dates is that you have the sweetness of the date. So the date is going to, uh, when it crisps up under the broiler, it's going to be so heavenly. Then you have the creaminess of the Gouda. The aged Gouda has a tang and just such a great creaminess to it. Uh, and then you have the bacon. So that salty bacon, it's just going to pair so well with the cheese and the date. And look at how simple this is. I just, I, I love these old recipes that we can sometimes bring back. I mean, this is a timeless recipe, right? I don't know anyone that doesn't like anything wrapped in bacon. Number one, you add in a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of creaminess, uh, and we're good to go. So the best part about this, come on, go through there, is that they go in the oven. The bacon is just gonna kind of caramelize over that date. Things are gonna get super yummy around here. Uh, I had some extra bacon left over the other day after I made this, and I just wrapped some apples. You're gonna see that on my uh, board right over there in the picture. I had some apples, so I wrapped uh, apples in bacon. You can wrap dried apricots in bacon. Uh, the possibilities are endless, right? Because bacon goes well with anything. But a super simple recipe for you as you starting to uh, entertain this spring, go back to some of the classics like bacon wrap dates. For this recipe, go to copork.org and follow us on social media at Colorado Pork Producers Council. Bacon is good anytime. Well, sign me up. The family will be craving seconds. Well, thanks, Colleen. You can find the recipe and so many more on our website. That's coloradoandco.com.